Good evening and welcome to Thursday Night Live, the T2 Challenge, brought to you by USA Table Tennis and T2. I'm Mark Thompson, joined by the High Performance Director of USA Table Tennis. That is Sean O'Neill. And Sean, we have got a great match in week five of the Thursday Night Live T2 Challenge. Tonight, it is Wang Huijing taking on Michael Tran. And we have moved locations. We're down at the Houston International Table Tennis Academy for what should be a great match. Oh, two exceptional players with members of the national team. Wang Huijin, she is going to be playing for Team USA in Tokyo, so it's a great chance to see her live across the country, as well as Michael Tran is just coming off a very strong performance in the Texas Top 12 last week. Of course, a big part of the Thursday Night Live T2 Challenge is that this is a team event right now coming into tonight. Team Butterfly leading over Team Nataku three games to one. That is after the victory by Jennifer Wu over Ta Leibovitz last week to get Team Nataku on the board. And it's Michael Tran, who's playing tonight for Team Nataku, who tries to close the gap a little bit. Yeah, I know both these players very strong, very fast. I'm looking for a lot of fireworks. Michael, a lot of power on the forehand side, but the experience of Wang Hui Jin, boy, it's going to be tough to match up there. Yeah, you talked about it, Sean, but Wang Huijing, she is going to represent the United States of America in 2021 in the Olympics in Tokyo. She's a 40-year-old, but boy, she has not slowed down at all. Anybody who watched her at Olympic trials in Santa Monica, California in February knows she is a steamroller. In the 11 matches she played, she went 9-2. and two. Michael Tran, he's at the other end of the age spectrum to a certain degree. He's an 18-year-old. His trajectory is on the upward swing. And he's got his work cut out tonight for him against Wang Huixing. No, I, I really look for a great matchup here. Youth versus experience, young gun versus old pro. We got a lot on the table for us tonight. Obviously, from uh, Michael Tran's perspective, a big part of tonight's game will be getting used to playing Wang Huixing, who obviously is you know, a veteran player, born in China, lives in Sugarland, Texas right now. Very crafty player, Sean. She's a penhole style player, really thinks through the game, very strategic, a very difficult player to play against. Yeah, her serve and serve return are definitely her strength. So Michael's going to have to start strong and really put the pressure on. Yeah, and Michael's strength looks to be his speed, his quickness, his footwork. So on that side, to try to use his youth to his advantage against Wang Hui Zhang, I think will be a part of tonight's match. I'm really looking forward to it. Obviously, uh, tonight's match played at the Houston International Table Test Academy. We want to thank everybody in Houston for all of their great work and bringing us down. Let's get ready and let's get at it. it tonight, in week five of Thursday Night Live, the T2 Challenge, it is the veteran Wang Hui Zhang taking on Michael Tran. Welcome back to Thursday Night Live T2 Challenge. We're here at the Houston International Table Tennis Academy. Big matchup between Wang Weijing taking on Michael Tran. They're in warm up right now, getting ready. They are going to play by T2 rules, Sean O'Neill, which of course means we're on the clock, 24 minute clock. Any game started within that 24 minutes is a regular game that is played to 11 points. If we start a game after 24 minutes, that is the fast five. We've seen it. Virtually in every week that we've been involved in Thursday Night Live, it's been impactful. Don't know that we'll see it tonight between these two players, but of course, T2, uh, the, the T2 rules are in place, and that means there is no deuce, Sean. And I really love the fact at 10-10 or at 4-4, it's a one-point sudden death. So both players will have to reconfigure or recalibrate if it goes to the extreme at 10-10. Or four four and just play that one final point. The opening serve goes to Michael Tran, and the first point of tonight's match goes to Wang Hui Jing. The umpire in tonight's match is Jian Feng Zhang. And, and look at that on. look at that backhand Don't over the, the table camera. punch the right off of Michael's serve. Just a lot of power, no hesitation. 
Very strong play. Oh, there's a beautiful forehand that time by Hui Jing, and it just blows it by Michael Tran. Takes an early 3 nothing lead here in game one. And Mark, Hui Jing serves are very solid, very heavy on the spin, very low, and most importantly, very well placed. And on the board now is Michael Tran as he catches the edge with that forehand. And the 4 1 lead with the serve is young Michael Tran, just 18 years of age from Katy, Texas. Michael doing a very nice job there on the short serve return. The serve does come over to Wang Huizhen. And she checks the score. It's 4 2. She leads. Michael Tran pulls within one now at 4 3. Serve remaining with Hui Jing. And again, just really solid play by Wang Hui Jin, able to get the forehand loop in, keep the attack going, and forcing Michael just to go a little bit wide on his final counterattack. The serve shifts over to Michael Tran. He catches the top, but it doesn't fall over and finds himself down 6-3 here in game one of the fifth week of Thursday Night Live, the T2 Challenge. Oh, Michael had a great opportunity on that high serve return, just unable to convert. Now things are looking a little bit of an uphill battle here in game one. Wow. Boy, that was a beautiful serve that time by Hui Jing. Really put Michael on the defensive and now taking an 8-3 lead here in game one is Wang Hui Jing. Again, just very well-placed serve, both to his elbow and deep in the table, not giving Michael anything to work with. Michael really needs to get his forehand going. A little bit that of a luck. Does, yeah, luck yeah, a little bit of a break there. there. But, but the aggressiveness that Wang Hui Jin is doing continues very strong, not really taking any prisoners here. Just finishing up with, wow, what a great backhand block there by Michael Tran. Beautiful shot. 10-4 here in game one. Wang Huijing with the serve. That's a let. Again, and boy, tons of spin on that one. And game one does go to Wang Huijing, 11-4 a dominating early performance, and Michael Tran will retreat to the corner here, get some advice from his coach, Sean O'Neill, as obviously Wang Hui Jing had the upper hand in game one. Just really came out of the blocks, establishing both the upper hand on the serve and serve return, but also got a couple really nice forehand loops in, in addition to her backhand punch. That really seemed to be the difference here in game one. But again, best of seven, anything can happen. Michael, as we mentioned in the pregame, excellent footwork, great ability to attack on both sides. Will be interesting to see what changes he makes here in game two. The players will stay on the same side of the table. Michael Tran getting his advice and coming back to the table. Of course, they'll remain on the same side here with our COVID-19 pandemic protections. The players will not change sides. That time serve first. return a little bit high, and Wang Hui Jin unable to capitalize, but she got the look that she wanted. And that's a much safer opening there by Hui Jing. Heavy spin, moving it around. Michael needs to get his forehand going. 
He doesn't get it there as he's now trailing 2-1 here in game two, down one game to none to Wang Huixing. John, nice that was try. a better forehand, but unfortunately, Wang Weijing right there on the return and put Michael on the defensive. Yeah, just a consistent attack, keeping Michael in the backcourt. Nice exchange of forehands there, and Michael picks up the point, the early going of game two. Down 3-2, and with the serve, Wang Huijing will represent the United States of America in the 2021 Olympics in Tokyo. Oh, what a wonderful third ball attack here on a pretty good short return, but just jumping in, really playing the forehand to the open court, cross court, excellent play. And Michael Tran draws within one at 3-4, and the serve important part of this match. And that's a oh. nice combo there. Michael Tran. Beautiful forehand. Yeah, reverse pendulum serve, got the pop-up, turned the corner, showed his great foot speed, and just really drove the ball down the line. Now even at four apiece, Beijing with the serve, and a beautiful forehand down the line, blows it by Michael Tran, and regains the lead at 5-4. Lucky break there by Michael. The ball just caught the top of the net. Oh, a little bit of a head so fake that Michael there. was going for. Yeah, down the line. He trails 5-6 with the serve. Michael Tran, the 18-year-old. Aggressive forehand that time evens things back up at six and the serve coming across to Wang Huijing, who leads one game to none here in the early going. A very spinny serve that just caught the top of the net. Good touch that time by Michael Tran. Driving it into the net was Wang Huijing. Now Michael with the one point lead, seven six. Wow. Again, heavy sidesman serve to the wide backhand. And then Wang Huijin just taking it off the bounce. Again, putting pressure on the wide forehand. A great return that time by Michael Tran. After a beautiful look like a Wei Jing was able to jump up and kind of pop that short shot, but answering quickly was Michael. Oh, and that, that last serve just popped up a little bit too much, Michael. You can see by his body language, he'd like to have that one back, but credit Wang Hui Jin with really punching that backhand for the direct point. Now taking a one point lead is Wang Hui Jing. 9 8 here in game two. With game point is Wang Huijing playing for Team Butterfly, who's up three matches to one in the best of 11. And that um, loop, very heavy topspin. Michael trying to counterattack it, but just could not cover it for the game. He missed it down the line, and Wang Huijing takes a two games to none lead with the 11 to 8 victory in game two and Michael Tran back to the corner again to try to get some idea on how to handle Wang Hui Jing, particularly it appears Sean off the serve is that it's such a critical moment of any table tennis match but the veteran the 40 year old out of Sugarland Texas and representative of USA in Tokyo in 2021 Wang Hui Jing really looks to be on her game tonight with that serve I mean, Michael's had some opportunities with his counterattacks, and we saw him with the slight lead in that last game. But gosh, what a heavy yeah, server and heavy spin is coming off of Wang Hui Jin's paddle. She's just really doing a clinic out there, moving the ball around, 
getting her attack going. Michael really needs to get his offense if he wants to get back into this match. That was a really beautiful serve by Michael Tran. And then he kind of no look reverse down on the backhand side that time. Take a one nothing lead here in game three. And look at that power. Um, Wang Hui Jin, though a little bit smaller, I mean, she just puts everything together. Perfect technique, excellent execution. That backhand, wow. That's Great backhand exchange. I thought Michael's backhand had some power on it, Sean, but answering was Hui Jing. Michael not happy with himself there. The forehand looked like he had it, but it went long. Oh, that could be a costly mistake there. You definitely, in these fast games, do not want to give away even a serve. That one went long, so Michael draws within two here. The serve does come across to Hui Jing, who leads 4-2 here in game three. And then Wang Wei Jin presents the present right back to Michael, trying to get a little extra spin of her own. Oh, excellent play by both players. Michael just a little bit caught in no man's land out on the forehand side, having to cover the whole table. But Wang Wei Jin went right back at the forehand, got the point. She now stretches the lead to three at 6-3 here in game three. Michael Tran feeling it, you can see at this moment, his body language is one, trying to find the answer against Wang Hui Jing. Oh, uh, again, beautiful third Not ball an attack. There. Yeah, if Michael can just keep doing that, any ball that pops up just really puts some power behind it. Snuck over for a let from Wang Hui Jing. And look at the amount of side spin jump on that last one. Wow. That's a tough serve to handle right there and gives uh, Hui Jing a 7 4 lead here in game three. And she's mixing it up really well. She's going wide to the back, but then also back into the center of the table, really putting a lot of stress on Michael's footwork. Oh, Michael with a oh. tremendous backhand loop, but Wang Hui Jin able to defend that and keep the ball in play with a great block. Another game point here for Wang Hui Jin. And she doesn't get it on that one. They said it did edge, I believe. So it's 10 5. Great sportsmanship. Yeah. Beautiful backhand that time by Michael Tran. Keeps himself alive here at 6-10 with the serve in game three. And that time off the net and out. So it is a game three victory for Wang Hui Jing. 11-6 here in game three. And Sean O'Neill, Michael Tran has got his back to the wall here in week five of Thursday Night Live, the T2 Challenge, playing for Team Nataku. The team is down three games to one. He is down three games to none here against the Olympian, or soon to be Olympian, Wang Hui Jing. Yeah, M Michael really needs to not only make some of these big shots, but get into the point. Right now, it seems his third ball attack is working, but Wang Hui Jin is really controlling the serve and serve return. She is juicing it up, serving wide into the backhand, also into the middle, into his body, and that's causing a lot of issues for him to get that first attack on the table. So time is up, 45 seconds between each game. Michael really needs to come out in this game and start getting his forehand going. This one's moving along really quickly. We're not even close anywhere towards running out the 24 minute clock. 
in this match between Wang Weijing and Michael Tran. And an early one nothing lead for Weijing with the serve. Oh, she, that one popped up a bit there, Sean. She missed it off the top of the net. Yeah, we say sometimes getting a little greedy on those went for a little bit too much power. And the net gets Michael Tran. Drilling. 1-2 here in game four. Oh, what a wonderful drop shot off that serve. Just really diffused the spin. Gave, gave it right back to Michael. Great punch backhand down the forehand side that time by Wang Hui Jing, who now leads 4-1, up three games to none here in game four. She's going to kick herself on that one. She had <laughs> all pop up, had an easy punch to the forehand side, missed it. Just a great job of holding the table. Michael's putting in a series of very good offensive attacks. Excellent play by Wang Huijin. Oh, Michael with a smart deep serve. Great job of um, backing up the opponent. Josh within two here, five three lead for Wang Huijin with the serve. Flat miss right there off the edge of the paddle and up by three now here in game four. Up three games to none is the veteran, the 40 year old, Wang Hui Jing, who does not play like an older player. She's very aggressive, very quick. I mean, look at that backhand, barely missed, but she's going after it every single time, not giving Michael a chance really to keep the attacks going because she's counterattacking so effectively. Michael not happy about that. Drops one into the net, down by three, seven, four. Great return that time by Wang Hui Jing, and now takes an eight, four lead here in game four, up three games to none. Nine, four. Had trouble with that, kind of I misstepped a bit now with game point again. It's Wang Hui Jing. And what a return by Wang Hui Jing to take a four games to none victory over Michael Tran. It almost looked like that was accidental, Sean, but it landed on the table and is decisive in this match. Team Butterfly now jumping up to a four games to one lead over Team Nataku with a dominating victory by Wang Hui Jing here at the Houston International Table Tennis Academy against Michael Tran. Dominating victory tonight for Wang Hui Jing. Four straight games, 11-4, 11-8, 11-6, 11-4. She was excellent tonight against Michael Tran for Team Butterfly, who Sean now leads the best of 11, four matches to one. Oh, she came out of the blocks just playing solid. Michael had a number of opportunities. We saw some solid third ball attacks, but Wang Hui Jin, the serve and serve return, and her backhand punch really set the tone. Yeah, her serve was great tonight. Michael Tran looked a little bit confused at times, although every time it seemed to me that he hit a good shot, there was an answer there from Wang Hui Jin. Yeah, I mean, again, both players coming off of a break, it really didn't look like Wang Hui Jin had actually taken much time off since San Diego I'm sorry, I'm Santa Monica, where she qualified for the Olympic team. But gosh, I mean, both these players, excellent play. Well, there's a lot of table tennis to go here, Sean, in Thursday Night Live, the T2 Challenge. We're on week five. This is week five. Right now, it's four games to one. Butterfly leading over Team Nataco. Of course, the loser gets the opportunity to choose his, his or her teammate the next week. And in that case, in tonight's case, it's Michael Tran. And we know where the we're going to be next week. We're going to be at the ICC club there in Milpitas, California. We know the opponents. It's going to be Joe Shin taking on Nikhil Kumar. And the choice tonight made by Michael Tran is Joe Shin 
to take on for Team Nataku to try to get them back into this, this tournament. And it will be a repeat of the Olympic trials final. So get your popcorn ready. We should have a great match next Thursday night. All right. For Sean O'Neill and everybody with the T2 Thursday night live challenge. I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight to the Houston International Table Tennis Academy. It is the soon-to-be Olympian, Wang Weijing, who dominates young Michael Tran. Four straight games, 11-4, 11-8, 11-6, 11-4. For Sean O'Neill, I'm Mark Thompson. Have a great night, everybody. Thanks for watching Thursday Night Live, the T2 Challenge.